If you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. So this is one of the craft pages. It's eight inches by eight inches from my junk and disorderly art journal. As you can see, I've already sketched out a kind of pattern that I want to use in the background for this art journal page. So I'm going to grab three colours of paint today. I want red, orange and yellow. So these are all indigo blue paint. So this is postbox red, burning bonfire and banana custard. Some cool, cool colours, but they're not cool colours. They're warm colours, but they're very cool if you know what I mean. So I'm going to start off with the red and I'm going to try and stick to kind of the pattern of going on the outside of the pattern that I've already kind of sketched out. So there we go. So it's going to be more of a kind of painterly style art journal page rather than just um, putting the paint on with a brayer or with a, um, a sponge dauber or whatever as you would normally do. And again, no gesso. I'm just going to go straight in with the paint for the art journal page. And I'm not particularly bothered about being too accurate sticking to my pencil lines as long as I get the majority of the paint down. I'm not really all that bothered about getting it right up to the edges either. <clears throat> a little bit hoarse today, I don't know why. Okay. It can be a bit sketchy, that side. I don't mind it going on the back either, so I'm not bothering about tidying up like so. I've gone over a little bit where I should have stopped. Yeah, that's fine. Don't mind that. I'm just tilting it slightly so I can see the pencil lines. So I'm going to carry on painting around this circle just with those little bits that have stuck out and this is going to be a bit boring for you to watch so I'll either speed up or just jump to the end. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet but I'll decide when I actually come to edit whether I include it all or whether I just jump or whether I just put some music on. Who knows. Either way I'll just crack on and do it. Okay, so that's almost dry around the edges. Now if you can just see the inner circle here, I'm also going to paint red. Okay, next up I'm going to paint those two kind of wedge shapes. So this time we're going to be using the burning bonfire. So this is 
not that dissimilar to the craft paper so probably will soak in and not necessarily give us a real contrast or stark colour. may have to go over a couple of times. So that orange has soaked in quite well. It might have been better if I'd have actually painted white underneath it. That way the orange might have stayed on the surface a little bit more. But hey ho, you live and learn. I'm just going to clean off that brush in my water pot that I've got to one side. Yeah, that is the orange. <laughs> So obviously when it's been watered down it does go quite yellow. Right, so banana custard this time. Now this is a bit thicker. Obviously more binder in this than there was in the other. So again <clears throat> we're going to go around this time the circle I can't actually remember whether I even mentioned what I was trying to achieve today. I was trying to build up or create some kind of Aztec pattern design. I don't know why, but I just got it into my head the other day that I wanted to do an Aztec pattern. So that's what this is. So a kind of Aztec sun ray on a disc, which is why I've used reds, oranges and yellows. Okay, so once again I will get on and do and join with you again when I'm done. Okay, so that's the yellow done. Pop the brush into with the paint. And then I'm just going to grab the heat gun, give it a quick blast over to make sure it's all nice and dry. And then once that's done, we can start adding some decoration. Okay, so as you can tell, <coughs> all dry. And I've brought out my um, <coughs> stamp platform and I've put the page in and I've actually put my magnets into the centre just to hold it in place. Now the reason being is that I'm going to be doing some stamping now, hence the stamp platform. And I've got this Aztec border stamp set by Indigo Blue and I'm going to be using this feather or kind of leafy pattern here and also this kind of rope ladder bead pattern. So what I've done is I've trimmed them out of the stamp plate because they're all, it all came as one. Uh, I think they're actually cutting them out now uh, and I've added them onto my stamp platform as you can see. I'm just take the lid off so you can have a look. So and I've done it so that the leaves or the feathers will be facing downwards. So what I need to do now is just grab my black archival ink. I'm going to make sure I get the right one. I've got two archival, black archival inks on the go at the moment. One's a brand new one, one's a fairly oldish one. I just want to make sure I get, yeah there's the one. 
So this is the more juicy of the two. So turn that round and then I can start inking up. Try and get as much. Now they're not what I would say um, pure graphics because the way that Case designed these stamps, let me just grab the plate and you'll be able to see what I mean. <clears throat> you see where it's white over the top? Well, that's actually part of the pattern. So when I stamp it where it's white, that's going to be a break in the actual ink. So you can just see it here. So where those squiggly lines are, that's not going to stamp. It's actually going to be a gap in the black. So it is kind of grungy. Which is kind of exciting, really. Because you're not just going to get those feathery kind of lines. Right, so let me turn that around and then close the stamp platform, put a little bit of pressure on there we go so you can see that you've still got that red showing through which is absolutely cool so I'm going to do that now for all four sides and I'm going to go all the way around the pattern so, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to turn and line that back up, leave the magnets where they are, re-ink and then re-stamp again. So I'll go away and do that and then I'll be right back when I've done all four sides. That should be the last side, there we go. So we can take those magnets off, making sure we don't get them too close to each other because they'll snap your fingers off and then grab those two stamps they can get put away and we're done with that platform cool nice love that pattern very um very aztec and if you'll pardon the pun very inca all right, I can hear the groaning from here. Okay, just need to get that dried off. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. So that's pretty much dry now. So what I want to do is I want to start picking out the background pattern with black pen. So I'm going to use the food ball because I think most of my Micron Pigma pens are pretty much had it. Whereas I know that um, the food ball is going to cut it regardless. So I'm just going to very carefully just draw. It actually doesn't have to be carefully at all, does it? Because it's an art journal page. And we can be a little bit, we can afford to be a little bit sketchy with our lines it just helps to break up the pattern a little bit and then just bring all those designs together and just consolidate a little bit just makes them pop I'm trying not to get my hand in the way and smudge the ink before it dries. The ink from the pen that is. Let's see if we can do it this way. In case you're wondering, am I sat with my tongue sticking out the side of my mouth while I'm concentrating on this? You would be right. Okay, 
tongue back in. So if I wanted to, I could literally, oh actually let's just do it, let's just do it, never mind, we could, let's do it, let me just bring that round, it's not going to do any harm because it's part of the background pattern anyway, it just helps to, to finish it off. I'm trying not to touch the black, which will why I've got my fingers spaced apart. to bring it all together. Of course, as part of the doodle design, we can add in some more kind of aztec -y motifs with the pen. wherever we want to do them. Doodling's fun. It does. Freeze the mind. Okay, so maybe a couple more on the outer just to kind of feed it all together. There we go. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Now then, this kind of feathery pattern here needs a bird. And as part of my research into Aztec patterns, I found these, which are really, really cool. Now I like this one down here because I like its I like the, the way the tail is done but I like this one up here as well because I like the swirl and the fact that the feet form part of that swirl. So I'm going to try and recreate one of these patterns. I think I like this one better than the others and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to just really try and do it just in these um, kind of wedges, these orange wedges. So I'm going to do it a small. I'm not going to do it big. And the beauty of it is, is that it doesn't really matter if I don't get it exact because it just means it looks like exactly what it is. It's a kind of hand done design, Inca design, Aztec design. I'm not exactly the best at drawing. <laughs> and then I think I'll try and repeat that up here. Ooh, I missed the tail feathers, didn't I? You didn't tell me. Or did you? And I wasn't listening. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's... Like I said, does it really have to be? Perhaps let me do a different beak on this one. There we go. Cute little Aztec designs. And I hadn't really thought about adding a quote or um, or anything onto the art journal page. Probably I will do in, in the end, but I just fancied doing a real kind of Inca style page today. And I love some of these other motifs. Look at that. Looks like two eyes and a nose and a pair of ears, look. I just kind of love these squiggly kind of designs and motifs that they've got going on, including the crosses uh, and all that kind of stuff. And those fantastic swirls. 
which you could replicate around on these circles. I've done the three lines because that does play a part a lot in, uh, well, say lines going across, coming down, cross hatching kind of stuff all the way around. So I theoretically could add in some more swirls and circles and stuff around there, but I want to leave some space in case I do decide to actually add a motif or some journaling, I can do it around that circle there. But for the time being, I like my Aztec page and I'm just going to initial it down here because there's not enough room and I'm just going to go to 18. And then, because I'm happy, I'm going to call it done. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.